Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to Game Theory, The Stolen Souls of Minecraft by the Game Theorists. Now, I'm guessing this is related, this is related to the soul sand, like, you know, all that stuff, like soul sand, because, you know, that just makes sense, because, you know, the soul sand seems like it's gonna, it's trapping them in the sand, and then that created the wither and all that, yeah, all that stuff, so I think that's maybe what the series is about, or maybe it's about more of the, like, you know, Illager stuff. It could be about that, especially since, like, the whole, like, you know, Minecraft Dungeons just came out. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, we're in the description, make sure to subscribe to the game. Theorist saying, so let's get right into it. Now. Me, me when I see a plane. Me when someone what? tickles my neck. Me when I stand on my own head. Me when I cosplay as Undertale's lesser dog. Me when I descend into <laughs> H-E double toothpicks. Hey! What? So it is about that? Hello, My theory is that dungeons could be before theory. the game Minecraft. Minecraft. Faster than a Swede building a giant meatball in the sky. Goodbye, Sven. You will be missed. In my last two Minecraft oh, no. years, I've been taking a closer look at the Illagers, the evil villager oh, yeah. mobs who are infamous for needing a bit more vitamin D in their life. Then again, you wouldn't have a nice tan either if you too lived in secret compounds buried deep in the woods. During those last two episodes, we looked True. closely at the many strange rooms hidden inside their woodland mansion homes, ultimately concluding that the Illagers, the magical evokers, and the maniacal vindicators are trying to create all life. Villagers that were exiled for their experiments into the powers of life and death. I'm pretty. Oh, is this going into the also the eyes? Yeah, the blue eyes, and also here, Brian. Support them required a few leaps in logic. Evokers are the only mob to possess totems of undying, which literally revives you at the point of death. Their mounts, the beastly ravagers, share an uncanny amount of physical similarities with the normal villager. Green eyes, yeah. unibrow. And it's not just physical similarities either it's auditory as well they both share that same honking noises <sighs> And from a lore standpoint, Ravagers weren't allowed to be scared of rabbits. Again, possibly connecting them to a villager origin. Last but most strangely, but I don't understand. Are the Illagers the afraid of rabbits? Of Minecraft Steve's outfit, implying that they're trying to create or replicate our blocky hero in some way. The connections are certainly there, but admittedly, they're weaker than a wooden axe against a block of obsidian. But I was convinced yeah. I was onto something. So true to the spirit of the game, I kept digging, and I struck. Diamond. I struck emerald. I, I struck netherite. What is the thing I should be most excited about finding when I'm digging in the ground at this point? Because there are well, so netherites in the nether. High tier so. blocks at this point. They all have such different usages that I'm not quite sure what's the most exciting one to find at this point. I think it's netherite. Like to me, I think netherite's the most exciting thing because it's super rare and it's also the newest diamond at this point. Is like, oh, it's diamond. Anyway, I struck a rare and exciting yeah. buried resource that serves as an app analogy for me finding the missing link in my lore theory. The evokers are indeed playing with the powers of life and death, but not quite in the way that I originally thought. And today's theory is going to prove it as we cover the secrets of the Vindicators and the mysteries of the Vex. Oh so yeah, Vex! The Vexes! Ever since I started researching the Illagers, something kept rubbing me the wrong way. The Vindicators. Unlike all the why did why do they have... with their icons, Yeah, why does they have blue eyes? have blue eyes, and this is apparently an important detail of their design. In a pre Previous texture update for the game, Vindicator eyes were changed to green in order to fit with all the other villager illager mobs, but it was changed back to its original blue. In snapshot 18w47b, the color of the Vindicator's eyes turned blue again. So clearly, it's important to the backstory of the Yeah, game. So why would they do that? Like ravagers not being scared of rabbits was apparently important to the backstory of that monster. So why? Why does a blue eyes Vindicator dragon matter so much? Well, that's, that's good. That is good. That blue eyes white dragon the mansion in a previous theory in those rooms there's a giant recreation of an illager head with a bright blue block of the magical ingredient lapis hidden in the middle that which is enchanting would be weird enough but there's something about this strange room that i overlooked before sure it looks to be an illager head but it's not at least not quite you see it has the pale gray skin that the illagers are known for but, but the nose the connected eyebrow illagers all have a separate oh eyebrow. 
games. Only villagers are the ones rocking the unibrow. Now, this is an important well, and detail because I'm hinting at what's really going on with the Illager experiments. Woodland mansions are filled with prison cells and altars. We've talked about this before. So we know that the evokers are holding people here against their will and doing, as the Minecraft mob bestiary phrased it, unspeakable activities to them. So it's my theory that evokers are kidnapping villagers and yes, turning some of them into ravagers, but I think they're also implanting pieces of blue lapis into the heads of others. They are turning them into mindless rage monsters, the blue-eyed vindicators. What? What? A cube of lapis in the middle. What? It's a monument to the villager undergoing the transformation. Okay, that is just okay. You know that that is no 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 no. Vindicate. That's a leap. Someone of blame or suspicion. It's a weird name for that is a murder cult members attacking villagers and kidnapping people to that is uh yeah uh if the vindicator is actually trying to vindicate that they aren't evil in the first place that they were brainwashed or forced to become evil by the what through this lapis injection adding to what the evoker entry in the minecraft so dumb honestly that is a whole nother leap into obscurity their evil is thus contained no new evokers will ever be able to spawn end quote this is also true of the vindicators jumping forward in that same book quote again as an illager their numbers in the world are limited they do not breed or reproduce in any way end quote illagers do not breed their numbers are fixed this is interesting because to me it seems to indicate that the evokers knowing that their numbers are indeed fixed and will never increase are forced to have to create other illagers and but the thing is isn't that just because of the game kidnapping other members of the villager because the game because you know they're just the mobs and they don't really some breed. Sort of magical lapis lazuli like creepers don't breed, zombies don't breed. The fact that the vindicator like, mob is stupid, and that's not just me calling it out. It is explicitly stated in official lore from the game. Again, from the mob bestiary. What? Quote, the vindicator is stupid enough to forget about its intended victim after a short time. Nothing makes someone lose a few brain cells quite like. Oh yeah, it does do that. Forcibly injected into the center of their head. The book also explicitly compares vindicators to zombies, saying that its body is quote only a little tougher than a zombie so again we have the idea of a vindicator being some oh like, like a zombie like a mind controlled zombie soldier who's working for created by and built to protect the evokers who originated them the last thing worth mentioning here is the vindicator easter egg that many players are already familiar with name tagging a vindicator as johnny oh johnny yeah all other mobs except other illagers obviously this is a reference to the movie the yeah Shining. here's Johnny. Johnny. Yeah. Why here though? Well, vindicators use an axe, and so did Jack Torrance in the movie. Except there's something else here that's worth mentioning. Jack Torrance in The Shining is just a normal guy. Oh he yeah! He goes crazy, right? Evil supernatural forces that exist in the hotel around him. He's an innocent guy who is corrupted by spiritual powers to the point of going insane and attacking everyone around him. The Easter egg movie reference could be just for fun, sure. But it's yeah, it's. It, it, it totally is. It totally is. Honestly, I see it as that because they wield axes and that's it. Magic of the evokers as they tried to build their ranks, and now they're left to vindicate themselves, prove that they're not actually guilty of the crimes they commit. But this is all still obviously speculation, right? Well, yeah. Prove that the evokers can actually wield magic with powers over life and death. For that, I turn your attention to the Vex. The Vex are okay. flying hostile mobs that are summoned. Oh yeah. They're like little angels with wings until they start attacking you and you suddenly see that they're definitely no angels. These things are tiny and they are vicious. Makes they are vicious though. One of the most challenging regular hostile mobs in the game to deal with. What makes them even worse to deal with though is that not only are they flying, but they can also pass through any block, oh, yeah. water, and lava without taking damage. There is no escaping from these things once they target onto you. But the reason I'm talking about them today is that they're the final proof that I needed to show that the evokers truly have control over death itself to understand why you mean life and death with minecraft's newest game yeah. minecraft dungeons this game literally came out earlier this week Congrats yes for resisting the urge to put minecraft 2 into the title of this video nintendo sent me a free switch copy of it early thanks for that one guys i've been playing a lot of it just to see if there's anything that would elaborate on the lore of this oh. game a bit more and would you know it a key gameplay mechanic of dungeons is oh, no. exactly what i needed you see in this game 
game, which is basically diet Diablo, dungeon crawling, loot collecting. Oh yeah. Waves of enemies. It's all really satisfying. There are no static spells that mage characters learn over time. Instead, you kill mobs and then you collect souls. You then use those souls to fuel abilities. Wait, and what? Artifacts, as in souls, spirits of the dead. There are also weapons. In the I didn't even know that about the game. Abilities like the eternal knife, the bow of lost souls, and the soul fists. You heard that right, friends? Souls, spirits of. Oh, the I didn't even know that about the game. game. Holy crap! From the Minecraft Dungeons team, a true adventurer puts their soul into everything they do, and the truest adventurers put other people's souls in it too. For a long time, we've been making oh. and speculating about exactly this sort of thing in Minecraft, right? Soul sand in the Nether is from dead people. Har har har! Look at all their screaming faces hidden in the texture. Except now, it's pretty much confirmed outright. The souls well, yeah. of dead people are an energy source in this child-friendly Lego simulator. But here's why it all matters for today's what? theory. You see, the Vex have a couple of unusual properties. As I mentioned before, they're able to travel through all different block types without damage. But they also glow in the dark. If you fight a bunch of Vex in a dark room, you can still see them. However, even though they themselves have a ghostly glow, they don't actually light up anything else in the environment. Oh! Like they're I didn't know they could do that. Being made out of souls. Look back at some of that Minecraft Dungeons footage. We see the oh, exact God. same type of behavior from souls in that game. Here they are in a dark environment. They themselves are glowing, but they don't cast any light onto the surrounding world. Just like Oh, them. wait a minute. So being made of souls would also make sense for a creature Hold that's up. pass through any sort of brick type. Just like a ghost. Wait, is that what you collect? Because I think for me, it's emeralds. I think it's different. Individual because I, I get emeralds when I kill things. Did you hear that? One Vex is speaking in multiple different overlapping voices at the same time. Oh. Let me play those clips one last time. <laughs> oh, yeah. What this tells me is that a single Vex is actually a collection of multiple souls fused together. That's how you get shrieking and laughing and ghostly whooshes throughout their sound. Yep, uh, snap. The no. bestiary, quote, we do not know what a Vex's body is made from since it has not yet been possible to obtain a specimen, but it is quite possible possible that it is not flesh as we know it end quote no no it's not it's a being composed of spirits multiple spirits smushed together into a flying demon and the evoker is the one that is calling these creatures forth the evoker is able to summon the souls of the dead to do its bidding and if all that wasn't proof enough that the evoker has power over life and death a common item in minecraft dungeons is the spirit knife an item oh, that I... in the description reads as follows a ceremonial knife empowered using illager evocation and holding the wrath of spirits the illagers are able to harness and weaponize the anger of the dead and there you have it my mind oh crafters. definitive proof that in minecraft there are such things as spirits spirits contained within the soul sand of the nether spirits of the dead that the evoker can then draw upon and use in his attacks in the form i did not know that the evokers are indeed toying with the powers of life and death they're having a lot of success with it too. They're able to use souls to attack, they create new creatures using the souls, and who knows, they're potentially infusing other beings alive. See, I don't I don't know about that one. That one is a scratch. Good luck sleeping tonight knowing that they're out there. The lost souls of Minecraft are hunting for you. Oh, so yeah, honestly, this video, see, this theory, the thing is. I'd say the whole, like, well, that's the thing. I did not know that was a thing. Because I don't think I get souls in Minecraft. I don't think that's what I get. That's a thing. Because instead, I don't know if I get, like, enchantment points or... Well, actually, no. I think maybe I get the souls and that's what levels me up and then I get the enchantment points. Maybe that's what it is. But I don't know. I have not been playing it for that long. I've only filmed... Well, as I'm saying this now, I've only filmed three episodes. I've actually filmed three episodes, well, including the first one, which already came out. The second one is coming out tomorrow. Yeah, I think it's coming out tomorrow. But, um, yeah, honestly, this, this theory... See, I don't mind the whole, like, soul thing. Because, honestly, I have a theory that Minecraft Dungeons is actually the... Because it showed... Because in the actual cutscenes, it showed there was multiple people. There was actually, like, another player in the beginning cutscene. So I think that Minecraft Dungeons 
could actually be the, yeah, could actually be the past of Minecraft, and then something happened. Maybe, maybe, because we don't see some of the, like, some of the mobs in Minecraft Dungeons are, like, aren't there anymore. So my theory is, is that maybe it's the past, and a bunch of the items that they're there are lost. Like, for example, the, like, you know, some of the dagger, yeah, the daggers, and then, like, some of the other weapons and, like, spells and all that stuff. My theory, those are lost. And that's what, that's, yeah, like, that's my theory. That's my theory. But, um, yeah, I don't know about the whole, like, lapis injection thing. That one felt very stupid and kind of just, like, it, it felt like a leap of fate, well, a leap of obscurity, I guess. Because it was just really stupid, I feel like. Because, like, I don't know. It, 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 I just find it dumb. I just find it dumb. Like, why? Why? And... It just doesn't make any sense why they would do that. Why they would... Like, first of all, they would turn the villagers evil, but then inject Lapis into them. Why would they inject Lapis into them? It doesn't make any sense. Not, not to mention the fact that, like, that's a theory for them having blue eyes. Like, <laughs> it honestly, I just find it so stupid. I find that so, so stupid to me. But, um, yeah, what do you guys think of this theory? To me, it was, it, like, the injection thing was dumb, but the whole thing that vexes are combined souls, and then proving that with Minecraft Dungeons that you obtain souls, that, I would say, is actually at least a good theory, because you actually have some things that prove it. But, um, yeah, anyways, guys, I'm enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye!